Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Davey and in today's video, I'm sharing with you a pregnancy update and some of my November favorites. So if you don't really want to hear the pregnancy update, don't finish it because I'm gonna put that at the end. But um, some of my November favorites are great for those who are expecting or um, just any woman in general. And this is mainly focused for women today. So um, if you're a male, sorry, you don't have to watch this video at all. Anyways, um, I'm gonna jump right in with my November favorites. All right, so my first November favorite is actually something I've been using for a couple months now. It is Arm & Hammer deodorant. And this is um, natural deodorizer. It does not have aluminum or parabens in it and that's what I want um, because I would hope to be nursing after I have the baby in April. So I really like this. I do apply it twice a day. Um, I am a pretty heavy sweater and this actually seems to work quite well and it's not an outrageous cost so I really like this deodorant. Alright my second favorite has just been this vitamin D supplement. Um, I always feel like I'm lacking in sunlight in the more cooler winter months and so I just have been taking a thousand milligrams of this and I just got it from my local Lewis drugstore so vitamin D3 is always a good supplement to have. My third is also another vitamin, it's just vitamin C. I think everybody should have these in their diet and um, this one also has rose hip in it so I think that's a bonus added on there. And I got this one from Vitacost so everything I got I'll try to remember to put in the description box um, so you can find them if you want to. This one is a little, if you're hard, uh, have trouble swallowing pills, this one's a little bit hard because it's a little more chalky. My next favorite is an essential oil. I use Young Living essential oils. I do have some other ones but mainly Young Living. This one is called Stress Away and it is a roller bottle. I love this. I just put it on my wrist or my neck before school and it literally is amazing. It just, it smells so good and it just keeps me more calm and I don't want my little baby to be um, feeling anxiety or anxious when I'm having a stressful day. So this has really helped with that. And it's so great that I don't even wear perfume. I don't wear any other fragrances. Um, so that is Stress Away. All right, another favorite is actually something I made. And if you watched a day in the life from a couple weeks back, it is a stretch mark cream. So yes, my belly is growing a little bit. Other things are growing. And this has been really nice to put on. It has like cocoa butter, shea butter, um, coconut oil and vitamin E oil so I will try to remember to put the link where I found this recipe from I used it for about three weeks now and I'm probably like halfway through so I'll have to make a little bit more here in a week or so but that has really been a blessing to have and hopefully it works another favorite this giant silver bag is red raspberry leaf tea loose leaf tea I got it off of Amazon it is a 16 ounce bag, pretty large size bag, and um, a nurse friend, a very healthy natural friend told me, she's pregnant too, um, that this helps with strengthening of the uterus. So I think any woman would be great to drink this. I just brew it warm and then stick it in a mason jar in the fridge and have it a couple times um, or make it a couple times a week. You have it at least once a day. So I think this is great to have. I believe it was $6 or $8 for this giant bag, but go check it out if you're interested in strengthening your uterus. <laughs> All right, my last favorite is honestly just eggs. I've been really enjoying eggs and being pregnant. I will hard boil some on Sunday and have them every day for lunch <laughs> and just prep with that. And eggs have just been great because you need a lot more protein when you're pregnant as well. So those are my November favorites. All right, to my pregnancy update. Anyways, I am now about 22 weeks along, second trimester here. I didn't talk a lot about the first trimester, but I was a little nauseous, um, very tired. I feel actually basically normal right now. Once I hit that week 13 mark, I just felt great. I felt back to myself, and it just has been nice to feel pretty normal. Other than now, things are expanding. Um, um, sometimes I feel some cramps. I have not had any kicks. I have not felt any kicks, but my placenta is actually in front. So if I feel any kicks, then they will be on the sides. 
So I am hoping to feel something. I mean, I'm 22 weeks along, over halfway through my pregnancy already and haven't felt anything. Um, but anyways, I did do a gender reveal to my coworkers and our family. I haven't told you guys yet, but we are having a baby girl. So our little girl will be due in April, so not so long from now. Yeah, that's kind of my update. I haven't had a lot happen, which is great. It's been a blessing to have such an easy pregnancy in the second trimester. I know people say third trimester is just kind of downhill again, so I'm enjoying this while I can, especially during my busy um, Christmas concert holiday season. But anyways, I hope that you enjoy these November favorites, that you appreciate finding some things that maybe will work for you if you're expecting or a woman. Anyways, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I mainly do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking, and I love to have new subscribers join my community. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye everyone.